Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Analytics to Power BI in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of analytics and exploring how to connect it with uh, Google Analytics and Power BI. By integrating these two powerful platforms, you can leverage the reach data from Google Analytics within Power BI to create some insightful visualization and report. So this tutorial will walk you through the process of steps on how to do it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign up for your Google Analytics and Power BI. To do so, go and open a browser that you're going to use. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open a Brave account or your browser, whatever browser you have, go to this URL section, simply go and open Google Analytics first of all. So go to analytics.google.com. After that, make sure to go and open Power uh, BI. Of course, I don't have, I don't know like the specific uh, URL of it. So just type go uh, Power BI and click on the first link right here. So for Google Analytics, make sure to log in into your account. For me, as you can see, I'm already logged in into my account for Power BI. It should be the same. Just make sure to go and sign in into your Power BI account without any problems. Wait. So all you need to do is simply enter your email here. As an example, I'll just enter a random email uh, because like if you click on submit anyway, they'll tell you, of course, to enter like your company email. As you can see, uh, they'll tell you that looks like a personal email. So you'll have to enter your work address so you can connect to others. For me, I don't have work address at the moment. But for you, of course, just click on sign in and make sure to sign in with your work address and you will be good to go. Then click on next. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll have to create an account and confirm your details so you can create your account without any problems. Once you are connected, so make sure to enter your own work email and of course uh, create an account and then you'll be able to use Power BI without any problems. Once you do so, once you connect to both your accounts, Google Analytics and Power BI, it's time to try to connect. Of course, for me, I'll try to find like an article as an example to show you like the dashboard how because basically you'll have to go to your Power BI, navigate into Home tab and select the Get Data uh, option. Once you select it, you will find Google Analytics there and in the search bar, of course, of Google Analytics Connector, enter your Google Analytics account credentials and the measurement ID you've noted uh, or you have or you'll get from Google Analytics and you'll be able to connect it right away. It's going to be very, very, very easy. So as an example, I'll just try to show you. So connect uh, here. So connect Google Analytics to Power BI. I'll try to find like an example an article to show you exactly how. For example, I'll just do uh, open this and even look for a YouTube video. Why not? But I'm not going to show you the video for like copyright uh, problems. So I'll just show you some insights from it. So as you can see here, uh, so all you need to do is simply, it seems like from here, uh, go to this list panel and click on get data, yeah, as I said. So go to the home screen, then in the list the panel navigation, you'll find this get data. Then uh, in the services box, click on get. Then from the menu on online services, click on Google Analytics, then click on connect. Then you'll have to enter your Google Analytics accounts property and view that you want to connect to, then sign in with your Google Analytics credential as, as an example. So let me just go try to zoom a bit. It's not clear uh, like too much, but as you can see, it's gonna be like that. So you'll have to enter your account and etc. and you will be normally good to go. Oh, sorry, um, just to kiss his back. So yeah, other than that, as you can see, to permit BI, uh, Power BI, you'll have to connect to Google and Analytics and click on accept. And with your report process completed, which will take uh, one day, uh, you will see, as you can see, your dashboard reports in the model navigation pane. Uh, and of course, you'll be able to select the dashboard to view like your imported data. You can also import Google Analytics data directly to Power BI desktop from formerly Power BI designer. You can launch it on your desktop simply from the drop down menu, click on more get data of course then click on more and others and simply you'll find here google analytics then click on connect and you'll be able to connect as you can see so read the information about connecting a third up party as you can see so as you can see here the google analytics connector relies on a third up party or third uh, party servers as such features and availability 
may vary as an example uh, over time although we attempt to release updates in accordance with any changes we cannot guarantee uh, the result of your queries when using this connector you can of course learn more about the servers used uh, for the google analytics connector here so of course you can check this option to do not warn me again and simply click on connect and you'll be able to connect it so as you can see this article shows you how to connect it with google analytics using the like or if you want trying to use like power bi in the browser and even of course on if you download it on your uh, pc so you'll be able to connect it in both ways so if you want to connect this on your browser go to home screen this panel click on get data click on get on services click on google now click on connect and make sure to connect into it and accept and for the app you can simply go to get data and the home screen again click on more go and click on others simply click on google analytics then click on connect and as you can see you have to continue and accept and you will be good to go as you can see power bi will show you that you are assigned to google analytics to load your data uh, or your analytics data you can click on connect and after that power bi desktop loads the google analytics data and you can now you can start creating your amazing dynamic report right away of course, if you want to even check from this video's example, so they will show you, I guess, the same uh, stuff. As an example, I'll just go and make better resolution. Of course, if you want to watch the whole video, as you can see, here's the title of it. So Power BI and Google Analytics. So as you can see, you'll have to open your Google Analytics, go to home, click on Get Data, and simply uh, you can look for all here or go and click on others. But you, of course, it's you'll just type probably Google Analytics. You'll find this. Click on Connect. As you can see, the same message. You'll have to sign in into your Google uh, account. And of course, here she shows you just how to create some graphs depending on the data that you get from. Yeah, it shows you how to uh, create a sample chart. For example, selects in like columns, edits in the query to add more columns, and update the visual. So, if you want to see exactly how to do that, as you can see, here's the video. Go and watch it all by yourself, and you'll be probably good to go so you can start refreshing the data and scheduling updates whenever you want and yeah so there you have it by connecting google analytics to power bi you can unlock the full potential of your website data and gain valuable insights into a drive like informed decision making leverage powered bi robust analytics and capabilities to visualize the, and analyze uh, some google like analytics data and meaningfully so this is gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye